This is a cool one. We Max it sent me this 400 CDM that's extremely bright for these portable monitors touch screen and it's 14 inches so it's that perfect middle point for portability this one is beautiful it's gorgeous let's go ahead and check out the touch screen let's play some games let's uh see if it's really how it pans out to be especially at the price point so many monitors so little time I'm really excited about this one. This one is rated at 400 CDMs, also known as Candela per square. Anyways, it's going to be super bright, and this one is touchscreen, and it's 14 inches, so it's like a nice even between, uh, ooh, it's nice. Ooh, it's very nice. It's almost bezel-less too, which is kind of cool. Ooh, nice. This is touchscreen, y'all. So it's a little thicker. It's definitely not as portable. Just right off the bat, pretty st stereotypical case. It does come with a couple of different adjustments and it does seem like it is permanently attached. Oh no, it's not. It's all magnetic. So the whole thing can just come apart, which is nice. I'm already getting fingerprints on it. Luckily these do come with little cleaning pads, but like I was saying, this is 400 CDM, which is, just to give you an idea, most of the other monitors I review are somewhere around 200 to 300. So this is gonna be extremely bright. I'm really excited about that. Number two, it's also touch screen. So we're gonna check that out as well. And as we see here, the um, case is removable. Not only is it removable though, it has a couple of different, you know, ways that you can tilt it okay in the box you have your typical stuff your uh, HDMI to uh, mini HDMI you have your USB type C to USB type C and you have your USB type C to USB type A this is gonna be your wall adapter stuff this is gonna be your you know MacBook and cell phone hookups this is gonna be your Raspberry Pi your PlayStation your switch all that kind of stuff so it comes gives you everything you need 1.6, one and a half year warranty on the device. This is power menu auxiliary. When you plug your headphones in there, it should stop, or plug a device in there, it should stop the device and the, power, the audio should be going out of here. You got uh, uh, micro USB, two USB type C, mini HDMI. You do have two little rubberized pads, that speaker on the upper, sides dual speakers so that's actually really good to see so for our first test let's go ahead and plug in my samsung galaxy and plugging my samsung galaxy should just mirror my image to get started remember i have no i have no power hooked up whatsoever and looks like it went straight to samsung dex which is awesome Let's go ahead and see what kind of brightness we're rolling on. So it's at a two right now, three, four, five. It's gonna eventually crash. Okay, at six, it crashes. It can't handle that much juice, which is totally fine. Um, let's go ahead and go back up to five to give you guys all the experience. But check this out. It should go ahead and run a touch screen. Look at that, that's beautiful. I don't know why I was on Shane Co. Definitely not buying those anytime soon, but uh, let's close out of that. So remember, you have a Chromebook or a MacBook or um, you know a Surface. Anything with a USB type C out, you can use it to power this monitor and use the touchscreen feature and either extend the monitor or mirror the monitor. So it's very versatile in those regards. For this next part, I'm plugging in the monitor to power. So now that we have power, I can go ahead and get this up to brightness 10. And remember, this thing is crazy bright. So let's actually just go back into that internet Let's play that video again, 
uh, this time at the way higher brightness. So you cannot use the touchscreen with the HDMI, you need something within the USB Type-C to go ahead and unlock the touchscreen feature. But however, you can totally insert a mouse here and run this operating system. Once you turn on the power, you can run it just fine. All right, so there you go, 10 point finger touch. Both USB type C's do data and power. Um, 14 inches, 98% RSRGB. Like I said, that 400 brightness is amazing. You can see here, you could do video out with a Nintendo Switch. You could do it with the Samsung, the Huawei, and any other phone that can do USB-C out. I did not test the, test the FreeSync. HDMI, HDR is pretty typical, but FreeSync ability as well. That'd look great on any kind of gaming devices or on a you know a gaming laptop or something like that. And as you see here, vivid colors, really nice. So I can see this for portable gaming. I could see this for portable editing. I can see this. I actually want a buddy of mine bought one of these because their MacBook screen broke, and it was cheaper for them to get one of these portable monitor screens to go along with the MacBook versus replacing the inlay screen. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't do that, but hey, I mean, if you're on a budget, this is definitely cheaper than a brand new Mac screen. So um, many, many uses for this, but for video playback, gaming playback, editing playback, by far the brightest screen I've ever seen, very accurate color, and it worked really great out of the box. So two thumbs up, that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.